International experts are conducting a large-scale expedition to the bottom of the ocean to explore the Antikythera shipwreck. The Antikythera shipwreck is a Roman-era vessel that wrecked around circa 60 BC. It uh, would have uh, foundered off the island of Antikythera in Greece. And when it hit the bottom, because it was made of wood, it gradually uh, would have decomposed over time. And so what you have on the seabed today is largely a scattering of uh, various parts of the ship, as well as the cargo it contained. Although diving equipment was time and depth restrictive during 1900 and 1976 missions, enough artifacts were retrieved from the wreck to excite scientists. There's been quite a large assortment of uh, artifacts that have been recovered from the Antikythera shipwreck. Uh, these would include uh, marble statues, bronze sculpture, uh, jewelry, coins, pottery, uh, and particularly uh, some relevance is a mechanism called the Antikythera mechanism, which is uh, an ancient uh, astronomical computer. This ancient computer is widely acknowledged as one of the most important archaeological artifacts ever found. It was used by the ancient Greeks to track astrological positions such as those of the sun and the moon. There's some very practical reasons for knowing where, what the sun and the moon are doing. Uh, one is that it allows you to keep track of the years. So you know when springtime is, you can figure out which week of the year you're in, which will tell you which are the right times for planting the various crops. So, so a basic calendar that keeps correct track of time is is awfully important for very practical agricultural reasons. Amazingly sophisticated for something that uh, was probably built a couple of hundred years BC. This time around, divers are hoping to find parts of the Antikythera mechanism not previously retrieved, as well as other important glimpses into ancient life. For example, you could find remnants of food items. Um, there were ceramic jars that were found in uh, previous visits to the site. These may contain remnants of food. Uh, which will tell us a lot about the diet of the people who, uh, who uh, were associated with this ship, uh, both the people who were using it and the people who served aboard it. Um, you may find, again, remnants of clothing uh, that will tell you about social status, it will tell you about the origins of the individuals who are on the ship, the individuals who owned it and operated it. Uh, you may find evidence of trade items uh, from not only Greece and Rome and the Circa Mediterranean area, but from far-flung areas as well. So it gives you an idea of sort of the larger system that this ship was operating within. The expedition will be greatly aided by new salvage technology, including the use of a powered exoskeleton diving suit, known as an exosuit. Now the exosuit is basically a wearable submarine. Um, it's uh, uh, a human-shaped um, pressurized container that a person can, can wear. It has articulated arms and legs, it's got thrusters on it so that it can be uh, moved around independently of a surface ship. Uh, there is the ability for the exosuit to go to a depth of 300 or more meters. In addition to it being able to move independently uh, and have a diver stay down for a significant amount of time. You can also mount equipment on it. Uh, you can mount cameras on it. You can mount other recording equipment. Uh, and what this will do is it will enable the archaeologists to spend a lengthy bit of time on the shipwreck and get more work done in the amount of time that they're there. It'll be very interesting to see how it goes.